Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you the really quick and easy method in order to reset the data on a PS Vita without having to do a firmware update. So for example, this is a PlayStation Vita and this has the firmware version, which I'm going to show you now. It is 3.57. So this is not the latest version of the firmware. The one that's most used for kind of jailbreaking is a higher version than this. So I'm going to be selling this Vita and I don't want to do the update. So I'm going to show you the very quick method of how to reset all of your personal data and information and save data, etc., off this Vita without having to do that update. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tech tutorials. So the very first thing that we need to do is to go ahead and make sure that we have this Vita completely turned off. So I'm going to hold down the power button here and we're going to wait for the power off button to appear. I'm going to press power off. That's going to completely turn off the Vita. So once that blue light has completely turned off, then we're ready to go ahead and move on to the next step. So the next step is to put this into the recovery mode. And to do this, we need to press three buttons simultaneously, the right trigger, the power button, and also the PlayStation home button. So I'm going to be resting my fingers on all of these three buttons at the same time. So power, right shoulder, and the PlayStation home button, and just press all of these three things at the same time. So I'm going to do that right now. And we're going to wait for the PlayStation logo to appear. And once that appears, we can now let go of those three buttons. Mm -hmm. And we're now in the safe recovery mode. And we have some options here. And the one that we're interested in is restore the system. So just be aware, touchscreen won't work. You have to use the D-pad. Nothing else will work. So we're going to press restore the system. I want to press the X button to continue. Settings will be restored to default values and all data in system storage will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? So make sure that you have all of your saved data backed up and now we're going to press yes. So saying here restore, do not power off the system. We can see that this is flashing. PlayStation logo comes up. And uh, Sony logo is coming up. Splash screen is up. And this has now been showing up as a brand new Vita, ready for the next owner to go ahead and play around with and possibly jailbreak as well. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.